Engineer 775, I'm here with my trusty sidekick who's helping me with my solar evaluation today. And um, say good morning. Whatever. Okay, back to uh, putting in solar panels. We're going to put in two arrays. I'm going to call it a, a flying V. And they're, one array is going to be south southwest, and the other is going to be south southeast. And I'm using the Pathfinder to determine. Uh, where I want to put my arrays for a lot of different reasons. I want to put my arrays in a place where nobody can see them from the road and that I'm not looking at the backs of them because that's not too attractive. I'm also trying to determine the best location for shading and I'm using the, the Pathfinder to do the shading analysis. So what I'm doing right now, we're cutting trees down based on what we see. See if you can come on over here and see if you can see this, uh, what we're talking about. On a Pathfinder, for our latitude, there's different sheets for different um, latitudes. This one's 31 to 37 degrees. We fall in about 34, 33, 34. So this is the sheet we want. And this shows all of the solar general solar paths for the entire year, from June all the way to December, and the time of day, and the amount of solar energy you're going to get. It has a compass, which is very handy for me because I'm locating, um, I'm, I'm offsetting my arrays to be off of true south by 30 degrees because I want a very broad charging profile. I want power in the morning and I want power in the afternoon as much as possible. In the morning for everybody waking up, taking showers, doing a lot of things, in the afternoon for my air conditioners for instance. And so I'm trying to do a, a more uh, rectangular charging profile. The cool thing is when you put this dome on, it might be hard to see on the video, but what it's going to do, the reflection of the light is going to show you um, the tree line and I can take a piece of chalk that comes with the kit and trace out the, um, the tree line. But for today, all I'm using this for is to tell me what trees I want to cut. And there's a tree over here that's got to come down. It's a, it's a little, it's just got to come down. And I'm not standing exactly where the um, sun path is, where the array is going to be. But we're going to cut that down. So let's uh, let's look at that tree. Let's go right up there. That that we've already taken one that's opened up a tremendous window, and now we're going to take down that other oak. There's about six trees I'm going to take down. Wanted to do this anyway, so it's killing a couple birds here. One is shading on my panels. Two is I need firewood, and three is I want to get these leaves away from my gutter. So so we're going to we use this pathfinder today to determine what trees we're going to cut. We'll show you before and after. I'm going to take a picture. What you can do is actually use your cell phone and take a picture of this and then go back and analyze how much actually solar energy you're going to get, how many solar hours you'll get on that array. So great simple tool. It's been out for, I don't know, 30 years. Excellent. Comes with a tripod. I don't have it here. I'm just using it for a quick and dirty tree cutting tool. So. All right, this is Engineer 775, part one of solar ray installation using the Pathfinder. Okay, I traded in my old partner for a new partner. And yeah. <laughs> what did we do, Eli? We cut a bunch of trees based on what we found out on the Pathfinder. I counted eight. We counted eight trees? Yeah, you took down eight trees. Okay, we cut down eight trees. Or and, nine counting that small. And what it did for us is it opened up probably two to three hours. In some cases, four hours of production. So. I hope we, you could tell from before that we opened up the sky. And so we're very happy with, uh, with what we've done. We didn't break anything, fortunately. So what do you think? We did good. Yep. So that's a lot, a lot more. So we're, again, we're going to do some final adjustments. There's a couple trees. Check out, check out that one over there, that one up on the edge. That's getting me about an hour of cutting into my uh, winter time production on my south southeast array. I'm going to take that, that that one out. None of this is wasted, so everybody gets uptight about taking trees. I've needed to get stuff away from my buildings. And um, don't pay attention, that's just a dinosaur. And um, <laughs> so we're good. Now we got to start putting this, this Schleder mount in, don't you think, sir? So go dig some holes. I need four holes, 30 inches in diameter, six foot deep. Get cracking. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, that's this is a great use for the Pathfinder. These aren't bad, and there's software that goes along with it. So what I'm going to do is do my final trace. You actually trace with a chalk the uh, tree line, the shading line, and that way you can actually tally up how many sun hours you have in here. 
and figure out how much production you're going to get. You can also punch that into the software. I haven't tried the software yet. I'm looking forward to trying that. The software that goes with that, with the Solar Pathfinder. So, all right, there's a lot of videos on the details on how to use one of these on YouTube, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, but they're just, it's, it's nice to have. It's a quick and dirty way to do a site evaluation and determine how many trees would need to be cut down. Not how many, but which trees and why. So, great tool. Uh, if you're going into the solar business, it's, uh, I have a great app that I use, but this is the tried and true. I use my app on my phone just kind of to go along with this, but uh, you'll never go wrong using a solar pathfinder. Okay, um, what we found out using the software that accompanies the pathfinder is that we, by cutting down a few trees, we increased our solar production by 7% throughout the day, throughout the year actually. So that's uh, a real good thing and needed the firewood as well.